In this video today, I'm just gonna go over a, another question that I've been asked by a customer this week. Um, and the question is, do we get annoyed if you bring a photo in? Um, and no, we don't, that's, um, why would we? Um, some people, I get why some people think that, um, as it can be, like, like we obviously have the creative um, side of the job and we you're basically telling us what we should be doing specifically but it also gives us a chance to kind of basically read your mind as to what you're kind of looking at in your head because some people find it hard to explain what they want and also they don't know like the terminology and things like that um we won't won't get annoyed as such but we will tell you if you've come in with unrealistic expectations though so if you come in with a photo that's very very different to what your hair is like then yes, we'll probably turn around and just go, not be able to do that, but we could kind of do this. Um, if you come in, what we do prefer is if you come in with multiple photos, um, so then it gives you a good kind of like variation of what we can do. And we can tell you like, if we can do one photo more than the other, or if you like a fade in a certain photo, but this top in another photo, that's perfectly fine. Um, so we don't get annoyed by it. It just helps to be able to read your mind, it helps us Create your style better. If a barber's, if your barber's getting annoyed by the fact that you brought a photo in, then that barber clearly doesn't know how to treat customers. Um, in ladies' hair, it's slightly different. Um, if you bring a photo in with a colour as such, we will have to explain why you might not be able to create that colour. You might not be able to do a certain way. If you are have been, if you've had that photo for a while and you've been trying to get to that photo and that's perfectly fine. It gives the hair stylist a good focus to keep on, to make sure that they're keeping up with the um, the same sort of maintenance and the same level of colouring. Because um, sometimes we can forget. We have a lot of customers. We can't remember everything. Um, so, but if you come in and bring a, a, a certain type of cut in and say you want your hair cutting like that, there might be chances that the hairstyle's been styled like that. Um, there's a lot of photos that have been edited. Um, hair gets photoshopped quite a lot. Um, so if you've got a very different type of hair, again, to the photo, then we will try and talk you around going going like a slightly different direction that we think is better for your hair and better for you. Because obviously you have to style your hair when you're at home. Some of these photos out there have been styled for that photo in particular. Uh, a lot like TV programs, so people who come in with a photo of um, a character from a TV program, that haircut has been done that day, or has been styled a certain way. Sometimes they don't even go with what the um, actor's hair actually wants to do. So they've got they've got a stylist touching that up every five minutes. So be kind of just when you are bringing a photo in, just be aware that you have to f factor in the fact that. It might have a different hair type to you. It might have a lot of styling to do. It might have a lot of product in it. Um, and it might have been touched up or blow dried or been cut daily. So if your barber trusts that you will take on board the information that he's giving you or she's giving you, um, then they will try and talk you around to make a style that per that's perfect for you but kind of using that as a guide, not so much as going, that's the haircut I'm gonna create because we can't do that. It's not a 3D printer, we can't just give you the haircut that's on a photo. Hope this helps.